so just as I expected, I feel like I'm in much better spirits um, just because I was able to be in the studio with my people and um, it's just a reminder of how much support that I have and um, support that Spark has. So gosh, that was needed and I hadn't taught in like a week and a half. So I was like, do I even still know how to teach? Cause I've just been, that's been so far from my, from my head lately. Um, yeah, but it was, it was fun to teach again. I had three of my sculpt trainees in that class. So it was great to kind of like really dive into efficient um, or effective cueing and uh, just some, some uh, terminology that I don't typically pepper in a class, but I did today just so they can kind of like connect the dots. So yeah, it was fun. And now um, I'm headed back home. I, I have been at the studio since like 5.30 this morning. Um, I took a class, which I haven't done in so long. So that was just super healing and I needed that too. So I'm also definitely out of shape and uh, that was a wake up call for me. <laughs> um, but I'm going home. I'm really hungry. I teach a five minute Zoom class for um, Nick's aunt's um, marketing firm. They're, uh, they do a 24 hour give every every year. It looks a little bit different this year, but uh, they essentially rebrand a nonprofit in our county. So it's exciting and it's just gonna be a five minute quick zoom thing but I'm always I've been I think this is like my fifth year being involved now maybe even longer than that so it's just something that I look forward to and um, a way that I can give back so I'm excited about that and then uh, the rest of the day I have a lot of things to catch up on I definitely last week was kind of it was a shit show and I just like I couldn't I didn't have the capacity to to get a lot of my work done that I know I needed to do. So um, weekly newsletter needs to get done. I feel like I say this in every single vlog, <laughs> working on the newsletter. Um, and yeah, just other like correspondence and other kind of scheduling and all the things. So um, wow, the interactions I had today are the ones that I definitely needed to have. And I'm just so incredibly thankful for the people I have in my circle and, um, I don't know. I just, it feels good. It feels good. I feel, I feel more like myself. I feel more level headed than I did, um, even yesterday. So, uh, things are looking up. I want to mention too that, uh, today I used an excerpt of, uh, one of the sections of the book of the book of joy and essentially it says um the way you handle grief and loss uh kind of determines the you know i kind of gives forth a more meaningful life so say um like i can i can suffer i can suffer through grief and and from loss or i can use it as a tool um to help find more meaning more purpose in my life and so i use that today because i'm just like i'm going through a lot emotionally um just with everything with my business with my family uh luckily not really friends which I don't have any, but it's fine. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, there's just been a lot of like shifts and, um, I, it's been really hard to navigate through. So I, I felt called to, to speak that today. And I don't know if you haven't read the book of joy, I'm not done with it yet. I started reading it. Like I think maybe even at the end of last year, but it's a beautiful book and, um, it definitely, it's, it's basically conversations, between the Dalai Lama and, um, and oh God, he's the high priest. I don't, I keep wanting to say the, uh, the prime minister, but that's totally not it. It's, it's somewhat different anyway. Um, but they have a conversation, a bunch of conversations and this guy is just like narrating. Um, and it's, it's really beautiful. So, um, it was given to me by one of my dearest members from spark. And I just, she's, she's gifted me a lot of book references and I just really appreciate her. I think that she 
for whatever reason, I feel like we sync up on a lot of like when we're um, going through things emotionally, we kind of just like meet each other in the middle. And um, I miss her. I haven't seen her in con. <laughs> I would say like nine months now. It makes me really sad. But anyway, so this book also kind of rekindled my connection with her energetically too. So it's kind of cool. Anyway, um, what am I going to eat today, guys? <laughs> what am I going to eat today? I feel like I want maybe some soup, but it's definitely not soup weather. It's like, I don't even know. It's warm out. Oh my God, it's 83. What is happening? <laughs> Shit's getting wild. I'm so confused. Uh, but yeah, so maybe not soup. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just stick with something super light probably, but mm, it's so nice out. I want to go to the beach, do something. <sighs> I feel like I'm in like this, like the energy of the holidays. You know how, where it gets to that point, you're just like, ah, fuck it. Like everyone's just going to go and enjoy the holidays. Even that's like a little bit different. No one's really traveling. I don't think, but it's still like, ah, the year's over. Like, let's just start up again next year. It's kind of where I'm at, but I'm like, no, Steph, like you still have a thriving, functioning business. So like, get it together. Uh, so I gotta like get my head back in the game, especially after last week. I'm just like, okay, we need to, we need to move forward. So <laughs> let's move forward. Good morning. Nick and I are currently in the office. We are getting some work done on the floor. <laughs> Great. This is where we work. This is where we work. Um, <laughs> this is our kitchen table. And I clearly <laughs> had way too much like carbs because my face is so puffy. Pasta. Lots of pasta and bread. Mm. Oh, so good. And carrot cake. <sighs> so last night we um, we had dinner with uh, some new friends <laughs> at Giuseppe's. And uh, it was just like sort of a synchronous meetup. So uh, we had a lot of fun. But now we are, we came in early at the studio um, just to make sure that we're here with everything going on. And um, I teach at nine and then I have a couple meetings today. And I'm hoping that my best friend Whitney comes to town. Um, he's gonna start looking at apartments. So, um, life, life just got exponentially better. <laughs> I'm just losing everything. Like, burr, burr. I, know. I know. Whenever there's a class going on in the big room, um, and like you can tell, it's like a um, it's a cardio set because everything just starts like rattling. It's really funny. Um, anyways, okay. I'm a, I finished the newsletter, so this, <laughs> things are happening. We're making moves. And now I'm eating the rest of my donut that I told myself I wasn't gonna eat, but here we are. Just I'm just carb loading this week, apparently. Nothing hits like the glazed old fashioned. All right, we uh, <laughs> we got bagels <laughs> because bagels always make you feel better. Um, it's raining, which is really, really freaking great. Woke up to rain, so there's that. I'm just gonna flush away all the freaking bad juju. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're working desk, and uh, I have a couple meetings, so that's what's up. Oh, you guys, it has been it has been a long ass morning. Now let's see if I can put you in. Oh, nope. There we go. Sweet. Um, it's been a long morning. Had a couple meetings, three meetings, three and a half meetings. Um, and now I am headed home to do some more work, but um, I get to see my parents tonight, which is great. So. I'm wearing my 2020 Give t-shirt that I got for um, leading a yoga class for Nick's aunt's company. They do an event every year where they give to a nonprofit. So um, I always get a shirt and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, um, I had a really great conversation with my dear friend, Lisa Starr. I love you, Lisa. Um, but essentially... I just, uh, I feel like I'm losing it, you guys. I honestly feel like I am on the verge of a serious breakdown. I can just like feel it in my chest. Eh, no, just kidding. It was just a burp. 
<laughs> she's so dramatic. I'm just kidding. Uh, but that's kind of where I'm at. So I'm hoping that seeing my parents tonight is really going to help just like alleviate a lot of my, my pressure. And that conversation with Lisa, she was just like, you need to, you need to refuel and make sure that you are taking care of yourself because it's, it's going to be detrimental basically if I don't start taking care of myself. And I hear that. And Nick's been saying that too. He's like, we need, we need a break. We need to take a break. <sighs> I don't know how to take a break. I don't know how to take a break. There's no manual for running a business, a yoga studio, nevertheless in quarantine. And, uh, you know what though? I'm just so grateful for everybody in my circle. I really, really am. And, um, the people in my life that are, I mean, just, they mean so much to me and it's just this mutual respect and, um, and I guess compassion for the lack of a better word for each other. It's just, it's special and it's rare. And I acknowledge that. And I, I really try hard not to take it for granted every day. So, um, the sun's out. It's been a very gloomy, uh, rainy, wet morning, but anyway, so I'm still full from that bagel. <laughs> so I don't think I'll be having lunch. We, uh, we're having tacos and Sunday, hot fudge Sunday tonight. So I'm excited for that. Yeah. And I think I'm going to go view an apartment that, um, my best friend, might be moving into. I don't know. I've been uh, driving around looking at apartments for him and houses for him uh, this past week, this pa these past few days. Um, and I'm really crossing my fingers that he lands a really good one so he can move immediately. Uh, that's the hope. I need him here for so many reasons. <laughs> I need my best friend here for my mental health, <laughs> for my business. He's going to fucking rock the boat in the best way. And I'm excited about it. Um, yeah. And just, I can't wait to just have a good friend here and someone that I trust and love. And mm, that is a light at the end, at the end of all of this. Well, hi, sweet girl. best life in the sun always. <laughs> oh, nugget. Kiss me. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hi, good boy. He just wants to be wherever the people are that love him and will pet him. Oh, I should really clean the house, but I just don't feel like it. <laughs> Oh, I wish dogs would clean for you. <laughs> You're loved. So I decided to put on some mascara. It's a big day. Uh, I just got word that my friend Whitney, he is coming into town in about 35 minutes. And so uh, that is Ted chasing his tail. <laughs> but uh, he, we, Nick and I were about to leave for lunch. I'm just waiting for him to get home from a study study session. But uh, he just was like, hey, do you wanna meet at Rooster Creek, which is the spot right um, in AG at the village, which is like down, not down the street from us necessarily because we live in freaking Boones. But um, it's the closest restaurant to us in AG. So uh, we were gonna go there anyway. And I was like, all right, sweet. <laughs> See you there in 30. So it's really exciting. It's a uh, it's an exciting day. Hopefully he's going to find a place. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna chat about stuff. I'm excited. And there she goes a wandering. Wobbly wanderer. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Wow. Grateful. I'm a floating head. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, so I just, parked at the studio. I told myself I was going to, and I told Lisa <laughs> that I was going to take her 6 a.m. boot camp on Friday. So here I am feeling like I had way too much wine last night, but I'm going to get after it because I know I'm just going to feel so much better and I freaking love Lisa and I get to see all my peeps um, I'm stoked. And then after that is most definitely coffee. <laughs> that is 
a serious concern right now that I have not had coffee and I'm just about to go beast mode, but we're fine. We're good. We're good. Okay, the sun has risen. <laughs> Boot camp was great. Oh gosh, I'm just like trying to build my strength back at this point. I taking two weeks off on top of just being super stressed and not eating. And when I do eat, I'm not necessarily eating right. So yeah, it's feeling dehydrated. I don't know, there's a lot going on. <laughs> but I am building strength back. I'm headed now to Pismo to meet up with Whitney. We're gonna get some coffee and just have a little chit chat before I head back into the studio and film for our on-demand at 9.15. I'm filming a bar class, so that'll be fun. I'm so exhausted, my body is just like trying to figure itself out at this point, but uh, it'll be good. And yeah, just helping Nick with filming and stuff. And I meet with my mom around 10.30ish. We'll kind of head downtown. We, she has some stuff to take back at Blue Mercury, so to look for some eyebrow stuff because mine is out, so very important stuff. And then I have a lunch date with my friend uh, Paige at one. So that'll be really nice. It's been like two weeks or so, maybe longer since I've seen her. Wow, I think it's been longer. Yeah, so that'll be nice to catch up with her. And the rest of the day, I don't know. I think probably I'll need to plan my sculpt training. It's looking like it might be on Zoom on Saturday, which is kind of sad, but um, we'll get it in the best that we can. And go from there. Training on Zoom. I don't know. Never done it before, but all good. So yeah, here we are. It is super like windy and cold out and just festive and I'm loving it. Just, what else is this weekend going to bring? I have a little special event like Zoom class on Sunday. A uh, frat a fraternity like project almost I think uh, like more like a philanthropy project so I do that on Sunday uh, the beach is lovely it's to my right right now and this view just never gets old going from uh, San Luis through Pismo <laughs> totally forgot to time lapse it, but I just taught or filmed my 45 minute bar class. Um, now I'm headed downtown to see my mom and do a little shopping around errand running. Exciting. Gotta fuel up though. Jeez. Oh my gosh. I've like moved more today than I have in the past two weeks. Holy hell. My body's like, can you please freaking feed me? I mean, shut. Mm, this is not gonna work. <laughs> so, I'm in so much better spirits the past couple of days, but especially today. I'm crossing my fingers that Whitney gets this freaking house in Morro Bay. I want him to get this house so bad. So I hope that because his dad's here to like co-sign and stuff, and they'll just be like, oh yeah, like you're fine, you got it. I really hope. We'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. I have shit on my pants and I'm... Mm. Okay. Oh my God. My body is so tired. I love this feeling. I've missed it. New battery. What do you think? You need a new battery? No, I just, uh, I was rushing this morning and so I, um ran inside and left my keys in the car and on. The car wasn't on, but it was on the lawn and it was in the entire time. Oh. And the AC was on, like the vent was on too, so it was just using up our battery. Oh dear. I think you're gonna have to your car and I, yeah, I was wondering about that. All right. Boomer. Derp, derp, derp. Let me know when to rev. Didn't even, didn't even have to rev it. Well, that's boring. Okay, I am 
trying to clean out this car. <laughs> Those that this bag has been in here for like five days and there's just there's just way too much going on in here and so we're doing that and Finley is probably about to go say hi to the cows so that's exciting for her probably gonna end up eating some cow poop she's thrilled about it already she's already searching for it so and that's our afternoon <laughs> well good morning <laughs> right outside our bedroom window. <laughs> what? What's going on? Whoa! He's like, um, no, this is my turf. This is my turf. This is my turf. <laughs> Come over here. Be out here just uh, watching a space launch. Not yet. No. Minute. It's in like one more minute. We're about to head into the studio right now. I'm going to be uh, teaching a 45 minute or filming and teaching a 45 minute flow. Um, and then I lead teacher training from 9.30 to 12.30ish. And then I have another Zoom yoga event at one. So it's gonna be a pretty long morning and I just realized that I forgot to put on deodorant, but that's fine. <laughs> All right, onward. What's up guys? So it is 2.37. It's been a very, exhausting day um but i'm super glad number one that the pups were able to be with us uh the, the whole day that's really nice for them and for us so basically nick and i got there at what time what time did we get there uh 7 30 7 30 to set up all of the camera equipment um and then i led uh we filmed um a class and then directly following, I led our final teacher training session, <sighs> super bittersweet. And then after that, I filmed another hour session uh, for the um, fraternity, so project thing. So <laughs> it's been a very long day. I'm exhausted. I've had like probably half of our, an RX bar and that's basically it. But good thing. I was telling Nick, like, good thing we carb loaded yesterday. We had a lot of bread and a lot of cheese. So it works out fine. Um, now we were at, now we just got to Dairy Creek because I wanted to do a quick, like, um, video, uh, so people know kind of where to go tomorrow for our, our outdoor class. So 
That's what we're doing right now. 